Google Docs, soon to be called Google Drive, is a great tool to use with students. But there's thousands and thousands of documents, and it can become very overwhelming. One way to combat this is to by creating folders. As you can see here, I have multiple, multiple folders for everything. I also have folders within folders to help myself stay organized. This is a new adventure for me, and I've never done this before, so I'm learning with you. Now we're going to learn how to create a folder. All you do is click Create folder and then you label it something that will help you remember what the contents of that folder is. Creating folders is a great way to stay organized but if you're anything like me you'll forget to put the documents into those folders. So next we'll learn how to place documents into your folders. With computers there's usually two ways to do everything so I'll show you multiple ways to create or to organize the folders. If you want multiple documents in one folder you click and then you click the organize button and a pop-up will show up. Then you click the folder you want those folders to go in and click apply changes. Now you can see that those documents have been put into that folder. The second way to do this is just to click and drag the document into the folder you want it in. You can create folders within folders to stay even more organized. Just click on that, the arrow and then go to create and click on folder. This will create a folder within the folder that you just created. Label it something useful that you will remember the contents of that folder. You can continue this process over and over to create multiple subfolders. Another advantage of creating folders is the ability to share that folder with multiple people. It's just like sharing a document. You can type the email addresses in, or you can copy and paste the emails. One way to get multiple emails from students is by creating a form, and then you can copy and paste all their emails into that folder. The students will have access to that folder, and then could copy documents and edit them later. Even though we've created folders to stay organized, you still may lose a document. I know I have. Google Drive has created multiple ways to filter the documents or filter your search. You can filter by the type, the ownership, and the visibility. Another thing you can do is go to the last modified and you can filter by modified by me, owned by me, or how much data it's using. You also can filter by previewing what the document looks like. This. Finally, you can star documents. I do this for documents that I'm working on or that I'm currently working on or really important to me. Then you can filter your search by starred items. It will be on your left hand column. 